It turns out the media was right. Video games do cause violence. Based on the last game you played, what are you getting arrested for? I crashed a few small green men into the moon by mistake. I rolled my town into a giant ball and turned it into a star. Apparently living out a campaign of assassination against the Borgia family in Renaissance Italy. Genocide on a galactic scale, Stellaris. Repelling a Mongolian invasion and freeing my uncle. Killing everyone named Micah. Breaking crates, pots, and lamps left in public places unattended with a wrench. Sucking people up with a highly modified vacuum cleaner. Saving the galaxy from overly religious aliens. I stole some ladders to some pools, you see, and it resulted in mass death and tragedy. Inside a trading of turnips on the stock market. Being a lawyer. I mistakenly F.U.S. rode Dada Jal across his great hall and may have accosted a few guards while making my escape. New King Gandhi Well, I got sucked into Subnautica yesterday for the first time. So I've been drowning people, repeatedly, and then beating the corpses silly with aliens and weird fish. Summoning people and animals to fight more people and animals and giant monsters threatening the world. Beating a cow to death with my first and eating the meat raw. Thanks Minecraft. Pushing beans off of a wipeout course. Animal crossing villager trafficking and buying counterfeit, stolen art. Throwing turtles at people on the freeway. Murdering my wife with a pillow. Eliminating the last remnants of the Roman Empire. Burning people to death with a flamethrower while running away from a xenomorph on a space station. While looking for a stupid fucking flight recorder. Chopping down trees with my fist. Organ harvesting. Slave trading. Cannibalism. Weapons dealing. Prisoner rights violations. And animal abuse among other crimes. Jumping on turtles, tripping on mushrooms, stealing coins, and kidnapping. Using my witcher senses to break into someone's house to give an old lady her pan back. Sudoku. I don't think there is a crime in that. I killed a loot of people with a lightsaber. Dropping in a Russian unpopulated island and shooting at people with the guns I found along the way. Harassing my neighbor with a bug net. Everything. Warframe is pretty brutal. I hit an anthropomorphic anteater with a butterfly net. I am executing people with a long sword and extra violence, thanks for honor. Putting animals into captivity and forcing them to fight. Damn Pokemon, you fucked up. Covering people in my liquid. Splatoon 2. Playing God. Blowing someone up with a pit full of manure so I can own their land. Oh, an incest. 
throwing moist and delicious sand beaches at my comrades! Exclamation mark. For praising the sun too much. Being a motherfucking goat. Playing a children's card game. Throwing a pot plant at my criminally insane neighbor after breaking into his house to see if his son is locked up in the basement. Forcing random people to breed. Race really face vroom vroom in cars I can't afford. Using a cat as a silencer. Just trying to save the princess and Hyrule. Ripping the souls from my defeated enemies in order to forge better weapons with which to better vanquish others. Also, starting fires at regular intervals so maybe arson. Illegal mining. I was lollygagging. GTA Online. So, I guess the better question is what aren't I getting arrested for kidnapping wild animals and forcing them to fight each other? Building a hospital in my Minecraft city. Far Cry 2 I drove a truck into an African resort and killed everyone there. Jumping off the tower a couple of times, and then feeding the pigeons with Saint-14. So I play a lot of Bloodborne. Excuse me for clearing these streets of vile bloods. Rage killing cheese bastion mains. Going on a TV show where 60 little bean things are murdered if they fail to compete with the competition inevitably only one serving. Dressing up as a bat and beating people to a pulp. So being a vigilante and possibly assault and battery. While trying to use my shout on a dragon I accidentally shouted at the guard. Throwing axes at some people and healing some other people, while being dressed as tree. Releasing a pack of wolves into a sheep's den at a local renaissance fair and restarting a war. With three quarters of the world's major powers. Building logistics networks. Nothing I'm playing road online. Building a giant, very efficient, factory. Then ripping around the countryside in a off-road buggy running over animals and bushes. Then stealing all the power slugs. Live my life with my girlfriend. Thanks, The Sims. For playing piano. Single-handedly wiping out a faction of religious zealots trying to take over a rural town. Breaking into a castle by avoiding the guards to talk to the 11-year-old princess cause a giant dead. Tree told me to. Spoil ass. Being a lesbian in a post-apocalyptic world killing parasitic fungal people and the people who were involved with people who killed a man who was like a father to me. Fishing without a license and engaging apex aquatic life. Farming. Changing people's hearts, just like in the game. Persona 5. Clicking on the minions of hell. Like, a lot. Skyrim. So I guess being an escape convict. I just got the game and the FPS is so bad on my PC I can only get to Riverwood. Coming in 5 seconds. 
They don't have laws for the kind of havoc I can wreak by rearranging the words that govern reality. Pushing people to their deaths. Fall guys. Beating a dodo unconscious and making it my friend with berries that I found in the woods. Being a pulse lushy, I suppose. Civilization 6. Being a fascist dictator, not sure they would allow me to get arrested. Assault with a deadly conveyor belt. Waging war on the Athenians. Opening a portal to hell. No, not Doom Minecraft. Abuse of exotic wyverns and elder dragons. Wrecking the laws of physics and gravity. Running a mostly success space program. Using monkeys to mass murder balloons. I committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. Guess I'm getting arrested for fucking a hooker and running her over to get my money back. Killing the head of corporate security and all the guards to save the colony. Totally worth it. Eating mushrooms and jumping on animals until they are visibly squashed. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe for more content.